Hello everyone, my name is Vikas and in this session we will talk about compressed trees which is also known as Patricia or Radix tree. So the very first question comes to your mind why we are talking about this tree in terms of blockchain. So how this will be used in a blockchain and how this will be uh, beneficial to us when we talk about the blockchain structure. So we already discussed in the previous videos like a blockchain is nothing just a combination of two words. One is block then chain. So blockchain is nothing, it is a chain of blocks where in every block the transaction is being stored. So a block can have multiple transactions being stored. So what we have discussed in the last video when we talk about the block structure in a Bitcoin. So in a Bitcoin block structure what used to happen all the transaction is getting stored in form of Merkle tree and ultimately you will get a Merkle root hash. So in case you are not you haven't gone through that video so I would recommend you to go to the video so I will just show you a link down in this video to go over that video again from your side and le now let's jump to the tree. So when we talk about tree the very first things comes to our mind is this picture. So uh, this is green tree uh, which has a root which will have branches and which will have the leaves right so this is the very first thing comes to our mind so now the question comes that how this is related to blockchain how a tree can be linked to a blockchain yes this is very much related to a blockchain and this is a very basic concept and which we should understand before we deep dive the blockchain so we already talked about Merkle tree in the last video and we have explained that to you how Merkle tree structure look like and what benefits we have from there. So again I will recommend you to go through that video first of all before you jump to this video. But let's try to understand here about this new tree uh, which is known as compressed patricia or a dietrix tree. But before I jump to that one let's try to understand that how these trees are used in a blockchain, how these are beneficial to us. So this Patricia tree is mainly used in Ethereum so I will talk about mainly in context of Ethereum blockchain but this may be applicable for other blockchain platform as well. So what happened in a Ethereum blockchain whatever states we save whatever information we save in a Ethereum it is being saved in form of key value pair. When we say key value pair I have put one example in this one okay let's suppose one take one example so okay so what, what is key value pair let's try to understand with one example which I have put in this blog as well so let's assume that you have one box in a room okay you have kept uh, five balls there in that box so every ball will have a coin inside it one the very first ball will have one coin second ball will have two coin third ball will have three fourth will have four and fifth will have five coins now you have kept that in very small box these five balls now what will happen if I ask you to pick a ball which will have the four coins what you will do you do you don't have any identification okay which ball contain the four uh, four coins so first of all you will pick one 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 ball you will open that one you will check okay this ball does, doesn't have four coins then you will pick one more ball then you will check okay this ball again has only two coins not the four coins so this way you have to uh, search through that one you have to take one one bowl each time you have to open that one then you have to identify so this is not a efficient process right so what then the question comes that how how we can improve this one how we can make it efficient so to make it efficient what you can do you can paste a picture on each bowl let's suppose I paste a picture of dog on the bowl which will have four coins I will have a picture of mouse on the ball which will have the five coins. So same way what we are doing here we are assigning a key let's take this example right so we are assigning these words on each ball a picture. So these pictures are known as keys so in Ethereum the keys are mainly string values. You can see here for cat uh, we, uh, we will have value 2, catty will have 3 value, dog will have 4, mouse will have 5. So this way we are assigning a key which is a string value to uh, the actual value which we want to have. Now this five balls, five balls which we have in a box it will have a picture on that one. Now if I ask you to if I ask you again to pick a ball which will have four coins 
you need not to open any ball you will just search for a ball which will have the image of dog you will simply pick that ball you will just give give, give it to me okay that this ball has the four coins so this process makes very very efficient so now if you try to understand what we are doing here we are trying to do is searching we are trying to search some information right or uh, in a box we have some information stored we are just trying to search an information so when we use a key value pair that searching will become efficient when we add a key to each value so this is the concept of key value pair so this is how the information is being stored in a ethereum blockchain now the question comes at what is tree now so we understand the concept of key and value pair but the question comes what is tree all about so now this information which we have mentioned key value pair so you can replace your box with a tree so instead of storing this value all these uh, five balls in a box we will store this in a tree form so now question comes that how you can store in a tree form so this is one example so when we talk about tree tree will always have a root it will have the branches and it will have a leaves right so this is the same thing we are showing here so when we say first of we have a key with the name dog d o g e so we'll start from here so you if you see here out of this keys our starting points are three words which is d c and m for first dog and doggy will have this starting point is d and for cat and catty we have starting point is c and m is for mouse so don't uh, let's start from d first of all let's take the very first uh, value uh, and key so your very first value is d o g e okay you will start from here you will start adding your branches so when you add a d d will have null value right because the value will become when you combine this word d o g e and then the value will be stored as 1 so the very first thing is d it has null value then you will move one uh, one branch above you will add uh, o here it will not contain any value but when you add g here so then it will come then you have to combine these words d o g dog so this will have four value because this key contain this my dog key contain four value so when you combine these three words d o g it will give you four value and when you add e, e to that one it will give you one value so this is how uh, the information is being stored in a standard tree in a data structures so if you have read about data structure in your uh, old days so this is what tree means in a data structure so now same with the cat also so you start with c here c will not have any value it will be null then you will you add a also to c it will also have null value but when you add a t here to c a uh then it become a cat that will have value as 2 when you add e here it will have a value 3 so same with the mouse here m will have null value o will have zero value u s and value will come when you combine this word mouse so now what will happen if i have to do a searching of two value first of all i will go to c here then comes to e then to t so i will have this as my key cat then it will give me a two value right so this is how the information is being stored in a tree now there are some limitation with this tree structure now the question comes at what as that limitations now if you identify this one so how many nodes we are using so if you start from here this is my first node this is my root node then we have branches right we have three branches and under three branches i will have in the first one i have four nodes second i have four nodes and in the third one i have five nodes right so 4 plus 4 8 plus 5 13 plus 14 so total 14 nodes i have in this tree structure and most of these nodes are null if you can see this is null also this is again null this is again null 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 so what happened that with this tree structure it use lot of space which is not required it uses extra space because there are 14 nodes and to store this 14 nodes we need to have some space but although these nodes are blank right so now and sec second thing also to search this is a one limitation memory usage 
Second thing is about query. When I have to query this value 2, I have to move through these two nodes. First of all, I will move from root to C node, then from C to A, then to T. So I have to move through three nodes basically to get the value as 2. So this is few limitation which we have this tree structure. Now the question comes that can that be improved? Can that be resolved? Yes. So solution to this issues is Patricia tree, Redrix tree or a compressed tree. So at very high level Redrix tree and Patricia tree is same only. Okay. So we're not going to do, go in depth about the difference also but just for now assume that these two terms are same for now. Okay. So now the question comes here, why we, why this is known as compressed tree? So if you have noticed above, we were having 14 nodes. Now what we are doing here, we are compressing that 14 nodes to only 6 nodes. So this is the reason it is known as a compressed tree. Now how we can compress? You can take the unique combination. Now if you just see here, you will remove the null, null nodes, wherever the value was null, right? You can combine DOG value, that will give you 4 value. Once you add a E to that one, it will give you 1 value. So now this both the nodes will have some value. It will have a node, it will not have any node with a null value. So same with the cat. So cat will be one uh, node which will have two values. When you add E to this cat, it will give you 3 value. And same for the mouse. So instead of having a 5 separate node for M, U, O, U, S and E, you have combined, you have compressed these five nodes to one node only, right? So this is how a Patricia tree uh, looks like in a blockchain that will help you to compress your data that will resolve the both the issues which you were facing before, memory usage and searching. Now if you want to search the cat value, you have to just go over the one node only, not the two nodes, right? So now you just see here the use, right? I just shown in this blog how this enable the faster search. When we use the old tree structure, as I just explained before, when you have to reach to two value, first of all, you will come to the C value, then A value, then you have to come to ultimately two value. Because first of all, you will start with the C, you will add the A to that C value, it will become C A, then you will be add the value T uh, to that value, that will become a cat. And ultimately, you will teach it here. So you are taking three steps basically here. But in terms of... Uh, Patricia tree, you just go over one node only, simple, because your key here is CAT, cat. You will simply reach to two. So this enable the fast searching. So this is the reason this is so much helpful in the Ethereum blockchain, because in the Ethereum you don't use uh, simply Merkle tree or Patricia tree. You will combine these two tree together, Merkle and Patricia tree, and that is known as Merkle Patricia tree in Ethereum. So this is how this Patricia tree look like. Uh, and this is how it is being used in a blockchain and this is the uh, use of Patricia in a blockchain basically okay so in this next video we will talk about uh, when we combine these two trees Merkle and Patricia tree in Ethereum how the structure will look like because we already covered about Merkle tree in the last video in this video we have covered about Patricia tree now we'll combine these two tree together to make a final tree which is being used in Ethereum so I'm hopeful that you like this video and uh, the, you now got the idea about Patricia tree which we have in the blockchain. Thanks for watching.